the order of your light on mass actually matters if you are using the curves adjustment. A few weeks ago, I was messing around with masking in Lightroom, so I won't have to go to Photoshop every time I want to add borders to my photos, a thing that I actually managed to achieve and you can find them as Lightroom presets on my website. But while I was working on that, I noticed that if you apply a white border and on top of it you mess with the curves on another mess, you can actually lower the white point of the border. And this means that if you apply the borders first and then come in with a fade or my filmic tone limiter for example, you can get borders that have a more muted analog look. But on the other hand, if you apply the borders last, you're gonna get pure white no matter what. But the thing is, this only works like this because I'm using the curve tool to create the borders and not the exposure slider. And that's because the curve tool directly changes the luminosity value of each pixel, when the exposure slider is actually compounding the matte from all the exposure sliders in the entire edit, and just calculating it as a mathematical equation at the end. And this means that using exposure sliders or any kind of luminance adjustment would have resulted in borders through which you might have seen your photo. And that's why 